Hello and welcome to the 25th of March. I don't normally do intros for my vlogs but I decided at this time it was needed. I've just finished editing it and when I look at some of the footage it seems like some of it is so trivial as to what's going on now so I just wanted to come on here and say that this was filmed right at the beginning of the, of the month and um, you know social distancing wasn't part of our life as it is now and um, things have certainly changed since then and you know the simplicity of going to the shop and just buying you know is not part of our life now you know now we only go out for necessities. We are at lockdown in the UK and Scotland. Therefore, we should only be going out when it's necessary. And it's only the key workers, which we are all very thankful to, that should really be out and about. So, on that note, I wish you all well and um, enjoy the vlog. This is my good friend Liz, who used to look after my mum really, really well with Diane. So here, oh, you're going to get me greeting. I'm going so, uh, to sit in the car. A formal introduction to our Liz. Thank yeah. so much. Welcome to the second of March. That was Liz and I. You just saw, but uh, I just saw her, so I just turned on the camera without introducing. It is Tuesday, the second, second, third. Third. What did I say it was? Goodness me, one of these days I'll know my dates. It's the third. Tuesday the third. So I decided to take a walk down to uh, b and because I wanted to get some more medicine for my throat again because, yeah, the throat, sore throat's back again. And, uh, yeah, and I wanted to kind of get some exercise in on the... Uh, <coughs> on the watch to um I know I know to close my rings I don't know I'll check just now to see um if I've managed to close my rings first of all I'm going to take my medicine I'm going to do a little haul of things that I bought as well and I bought some beautiful primroses whilst I was there I'll show you them as well okay that's what I managed to do so the distance was about seven point what was it there about seven kilometers anyway so let's do our little haul of things that I bought. I got myself the butter dish and the last time I was in TK Maxx I bought the little cup. So this is the lay, yeah I know I keep getting told how to say it but um, croissant, croissant, whatever it is. Um, and I bought the cup and I absolutely love it because it's the perfect size for the espresso machine and really nice to drink from. I can't remember if I've already showed you this. So I went back to get the butter dish because I noticed they had the butter dishes the last time I was in. And this colour because that kind of matched well with my kitchen. And they had quite a few in that colour. But then I saw this one and this was the only one they had in that colour and that one probably goes better I can change it back because like I said they had plenty of them so I just picked that one up because um I don't know what do we think is that too too light do we think that one actually does look a better color in my kitchen doesn't it oh so I might take that back and get it in that color but yeah i wanted a new butter dish because the one i've got i've had for years and i don't know where it is now it should be sitting there but rico's moved it over here for some strange reason so yeah it's just a stainless steel one that i've had for years so i wanted to upgrade to one of them so i think hmm what color is better rico in the kitchen that one the light do you think the light one yeah i like the light one better they're both the same six and a half a dozen Anyway, so got that from TK Maxx. So these were both from TK Maxx. I also needed some cotton pads. So I just got them because I was in B&M. This is what I went in for, for some medicine, which I'm going to take just now. The last time I picked this up from B&M, it was a pound. Today it was 2 75 So I don't know if it was a mistake or what. Got some sweet corn 
good to add to meals just now because I'm fasting. Of course, some Zoflora with all these bugs that are going around just now. I got some Dettol wipes, which I've left one in the car and I will just keep one in the house. And some softener. And I got these beautiful primroses as well. These were all in the pot. I think these were four pounds. They're just beautiful. And then just some to plant into the uh, ground. I don't know what colours these are going to be. These look like they're going to be yellow, but look at these purple ones. They're just beautiful. Uh. Thanks. Cool. So these were uh, two fifty for four plants from B&M. Look at these, just really beautiful. This is today's vegetarian, vegan even, vegan and gluten free. So these are little kifted, I guess, or little, I was going to say meatballs, but they're not. What have they got in them, Rico? Courgette. 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 What? Just courgette. Courgette and onion. Uh-huh. And flavourings, mint, cinnamon. Okay, he's not willing to pass his secrets on. This so mint, cinnamon, a wee bit of cayenne pepper. A splash of turmeric. Cayenne, cayenne, cayenne pepper. And linseed. Mmm! Oh, surprised! <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Mmm! <laughs> Welcome to Wednesday, the 4th of March. We're out for our afternoon walk. Now I think uh, George is out for her jog. There she's there. It's a lovely, lovely day. It's the, uh, you know, it's chilly and sunny and just lovely. So we still need hats and scarfs and all of that. I've just put a scarf on, my mimi scarf, because uh, I start getting too warm and I'm chasing after Lily and Georgie with hats and gloves and all that and then end up having to carry that so I like to be hands free, not have too much to worry about. So yeah, this morning I decided I was going to uh, get another gym membership. I'm going to go to a more local gym what is it, Agabimo? Um, one that's a lot cheaper. So if I don't use it, I'm not wasting money. And because I used to be, the gym I was with was David Lloyd, which was a lot of money a month if you weren't using it. I was definitely getting my money's worth out of it. And at least with this, if I don't feel like working out at home, I can go to the gym. I've got that option now and it's not a lot of money. I think it's uh, 20 pounds a month. So if I do one class a week, I'm still getting my money's worth out of it. So that's what I've uh, decided to do. So I've applied for um, a day pass just to go and see what it's like um, inside, just to see the facilities. But I know that they do the classes. Um, they do the... Uh, Les Mills classes. We don't have anything like um, I used to do at David Lloyd, which was um, what was it called? The Blaze Studio. They don't have anything like that. But I uh, don't really need that. Oh, battery's flashing. There's a surprise. What is it, Georgie? Would you like some help? So, yeah, that's what I've uh, decided to do. Look, I've started getting all the grasses and bushes ready for spring. We're just heading for a, a puddle for Georgie to jump in because she's got her uh, wellies. So she's gonna have a wee splash about in a puddle. We've found one, pretty big one. Did you see it, Georgie? Yeah. I'm trying to hold Lily back. Go on, go for it. I've got Lily here, I'm not letting her go in it. Go on, jump, big jump. Run! Run through it! Ready? Steady! Yay! Run, 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 flash, flash, flash! Yay! Okay, that's
that's Georgie home, so it's time to tidy up. Rico's gone out and bought a few things for me and for some of his recipes that he's having to do, having to do some vegan recipes as well. So this is not just for me. So let's do a little vegan haul, shall we? Which includes wine. Here we have some cheeses. So this is a Mediterranean style cheese, vegan, vegan. So this is like sliced cheese that's vegan. And this is like a cheddar, which is vegan. Some courgettes, because Rico's going to do a vegan, gluten-free style moussaka. Um, so he's going to use corn flour to make the white sauce. And also he does some, I was going to say meatballs, but some veggie balls. And so he's got some baking powder which is also gluten free so even when we do meatballs and they're required to be um gluten free you can add the baking powder because the baking powder makes them light that's one of the secrets that my mom used to add to her uh, greek style kofteres the baking powder so i'm sharing that with you so some baking powders are gluten free and some are not this one is gluten free that's it there so that's gluten free so we've got some soya uh, milk for the white sauce as well so instead of doing your roux with the flour he's going to use the corn flour which my mum used to say was kind of the cheat way of making white uh, white sauce or bechamel here we have the wines so these are all vegan Rico the three of them well one of them says it's only vegetarian on it which one's that the this one right and these two don't say anything but, but you I, but i googled as the vegan wines right and i took my while to find them but I, these are french the muscadets and apparently these two are vegan right and this right. is vegetarian but on the website it says it's vegan this one as well yes. okay yes. okay so a pastry which is gluten free but is also vegetarian and these are beans which are also vegan and no added sugar so there you go that's how we mini haul so the options here are endless you can make moussaka or vegetarian moussaka you can have crumpets with cheese on them or crumpets and baked beans and uh, yeah Hello and welcome to the 5th of March, is it the 5th Ruth? Yeah. yeah, 5th of March. Welcome to our salon. Ruth is trying to show me how to uh, use the oracle but I've given up so she's taken over doing my hair <laughs> and got my lovely curls going on here. I just, I'm just not that way inclined. I just find all these things difficult so um, she's going to come she'll back. She'll get there. Hmm? You'll get there. So I'm going to come back, she's going to come back when she's got time because she's actually ready for work just now poor thing coming and doing my hair and then going off to work so she's going to come back another day and we're going to do a video aren't we Ruth? yeah we might even do it on your channel and come back and do it on your channel <laughs> whatever way I'll link it below I keep promising you all that she's going to start up her channel but um, if you have, if you come back here you can film it here and we'll just upload, we'll upload it onto uh, your channel yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm so, uh, yeah, basically, after Ruth was showing me that I need to be double jointed, I need to lift, <laughs> <laughs> I need to lift my elbow right up, these things are never as easy, honestly, if you go onto YouTube and um, search how to use this, they make it look like the easiest thing to use, they kind of put, put it on, bring it down, well, basically what Ruth is doing and then end up with this beautiful curl. It's not like that when you do it on yourself, or at least when I yeah, do it. Yeah, it's just getting used to it. It's like anything. You're not going to, you're not going to, the first time you do it, you'll find it a wee bit tricky. It's just getting an act to it. Look how easy she makes it look. Basically pulling it through and then getting a curl. The good thing about it is it's got heat technology in it so it goes up to 185 degrees and that's enough that's enough heat basically to style your hair uh, without like causing any underlying problems inside the hair and damaging it um, so it is better but I would still it doesn't mean you shouldn't be using your heat protectors and stuff I would still always use like your curl spray your heat protector um, 
but it sets it like a pin curl almost because it's got, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's got a wee fan. So it heats your hair, which styles it as it's gliding through, but as it's coming out, it blows cool air onto it and that sets it. Uh, so your hair is getting heated up and then it sets the curls so it should last longer, like setting your hair in pin curls. Look. I mean, look at the curls there. That not beautiful? I just need to go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing this Thursday afternoon. Playing with hair again. So what do you prefer to use? Do you prefer uh, the straightness to curl hair or do you prefer the oracle? Or is that unfair because you've been working with the straightness for a lot no, longer? No, I feel the oracle is great. But I do feel it's designed for people to do it themselves. For me and the salon, I'd use the Oracle. Honestly, I don't use it very often, but I still use it just if the client wants it. Basically. But I'll always go to my Platinum's, the straighteners. I just feel that's what I'm easier working with. I'm quicker with it. I'm more confident in it just now. These are obviously new. I'm getting used to them as well. But I do think these are fantastic. But I think they're aimed for the public. So you have clients that specifically ask to get this. What is it? Why is it a different curl? Just the, uh, it set it lasts better. Oh, does it? Right. Yeah, okay. because of what I was saying with the heat and the cooling, it lasts. Look day. who I have here! I have Georgie. Who's this, Georgie? Georgie. That's her doggie, and her mummy's away to work. She's waiting for Daddy to come and pick her up, aren't you? Daddy gonna come and get you. So we're just gonna tidy up now, aren't we? Can you help me tidy up? My ear brother. That's lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My baby. Are you going to put some spray? My baby ear. Mm -hmm. How about some spray? Where's the spray? What noise does the spray make? Psst, psst, psst. Like this. No working. Is it not working? Just pretend. Okay. That's it. See. Daddy. That working. The old ear, but yeah, I don't need it. But the old ear. Hello and welcome to the, I don't even know what date it is, I think it's the 6th, I'm trying to see on my computer, I know it's Friday, I think it's the 6th, we'll go with the 6th, if it's not I'll put it in here, Um, yeah, just finished doing a video, it's a tag video, and, no it's, look, I keep showing you this like you care, but this is what happens when we do videos, look. So this is all the stuffing out of the bags. So, you do a video, you plan the video, for all those of you that think it's so easy, but we do it through sheer love and passion and nothing more. So we do the video, so we plan the video. This Tag videos I find quite easy because you, you're kind of tagged to do the video and the basic idea is there so this particular one was the two bags that my husband no things that two items in my closet that my husband hates so you may film it so I, which i have just done now i'm now going to download it onto my computer upload it onto my computer i'm going to download it onto my <laughs> i never know the difference between upload and download i think i'm going to download it onto my computer upload it onto my computer you upload to youtube you do whatever right i'm going to put the footage from my camera to my laptop and i know you're all laughing at me now how can she make youtube videos and doesn't know the difference between upload and down i do most of the time so anyway back to it so i'm going to take the footage from my camera now and download it onto my computer 